Hello, and welcome to a quick overview of the Hydra Multi-Role Corvette system. Um, the Hydra is designed for speed, but more for modularity. Uh, the Hydra system has a modular front connector to allow for the addition of what I refer to as Hydra heads. Uh, each head unit uh, should be geared towards a specific role, um, possible multiple roles. Uh, and the idea is you have one Corvette, but you can outfit it for whatever mission purpose you're, you need to utilize it for. Um, let's take a closer look at the Hydra layout, the, what's inside, the guts of the vessel, if you will. Uh, the Hydra um, is pretty much a one-man unit. Uh, there are remote-controlled units here, so you could operate the thing without any crew whatsoever, uh, assuming you have radio contact. Um, you could also have multiple people operating the, the unit, one on board and one or two remotely. Um, whether or not that's advantageous, that's up to you. Uh, at the core of the Hydra, is a uh, 60G gravity drive. Now, I calculate the G based on a single gravity to applied to a single mass block. This is a 60G drive based on that because it has 20 gravity drives and three mass blocks. So it can apply 60 Gs of force to this uh, vessel. Um, it can also apply uh, 20 gravities to outside objects, which might be useful for different head modules, as we'll see. There's two, hy two hydra, two uh, projector units on here that uh, will can allow you, in certain situations, to project a head onto the front of the vessel and then build it in place. Uh, that uh, combined with the possibility of projecting holograms for defense or countermeasures uh, provides a better utility for the for the vessel so that's one of the other features um, additionally the uh, Corvette has uh, nine gyros uh, and is fairly maneuverable on its own um, there are, it, it, the whole thing is powered from this one large reactor which is as, for, as all my testing has shown, has been more than enough for the operation of the vessel as well as uh, attached head modules. We have three batteries um, that could run it sort of in a green mode, um, you know, by solar charging, you know, connecting it to something and charging those. But they're really kind of limited. Uh, so you are probably uh, going to have to use... Uh, uranium to power the vessel in, in most cases. There are a series of timing blocks as you can see uh, that are used in, in the interior uh, mostly for support of the gravity drives but these units are, are very helpful in uh, kicking off several of the events within the Hydra and there's several there for spare that can be kind of programmed on the fly for whatever additional features you need on whatever operation you're going for. Uh, there's four computer modules, generally unused in, in most circumstances, but they're there for uh, future proofing. You know, additional programs could be added uh, for whatever mission you need to undertake. Um, as there, there are thrusters, of course, um, they aren't really there for getting it from place to place, or more for uh, docking and, and pulling into, you know, a park or, or slowing down and stopping. They're not really there for the main propulsion, obviously, since we have the gravity drive in place. Um, outside of that, that's, that's a good overview of the internals. Uh, let's take a look at some of the mission roles you can put them through. The majority of the uh, examples here are going to be combat, but there are some uh, also uh, additional options since you can change what the head out. You can really gear the the uh, 
Hydra for whatever mission profile you're looking for. Uh, this particular uh, head module here is just a uh, simple uh, rocket pod module. Um, we have the five rocket pods here. Uh, as you know, the large rocket pods are extremely fast in firing, uh, so you can bring a lot of uh, rockets down on target with this rather simple um, head unit. This one here is is more of a single use um, torpedo. Uh, this is geared towards capital ship um, attacks, um, providing a tandem charge entry into a uh, um, capital ship of sorts. Uh, so that's just you know another example of of the modularity of the Hydra. Um, here we have is one of kind of one of my favorites. Um, this is uh, a unit that's kind of it kind of does two things. It it allows you to uh, attack an enemy target, but also take out the trash because uh, at the heart of this module is uh, several connector modules which can dump whatever refuse you want out, uh, and then with the gravity drive of the Corvette itself, sling that towards your opponent um, and deal you know, damage directly to them. In most cases, this is going to be stone or gravel. Um, as backup, of course, you have eight uh, rocket pods, and along the sides here you have two Gatlin guns. They're really tuned by default down to about 200 meters, and they're set for... M uh, missile defense, really, for for defending against missiles. Um, you know, in in classic um, combat, you are you know you get close enough, it's going to fire upon the enemy target, but really just there for for missile defense. Finally, we have uh, kind of an example of non-combat roles. Um, this particular module is is basically a long-range scout module. Um, you can use the uh, Hydra to get it quickly to where it needs to go. Um, Long-term operations, these two ships are, you know, are really just one big scout, but in push comes to shove, uh, you need to have a scout out there, but you kind of need the Hydra back at base. You can get it to its destination, drop it off, um, and then return the Hydra, you know, back to base and utilize it for whatever needs have arisen. Um, the, in this particular case, the scout module, you know, solar powered, uh, it has batteries a lot in here as well. Um, it does have a nuclear reactor pretty much pretty close to the standard, uh, respawn ships you get. Um, but, uh, and, uh, including, even including a, uh, assembler and a refinery so you can build on the fly um, out there as needed but again uh, pretty self-sufficient um, that pretty much concludes the you know basic overview of the Hydra system and its utility um, feel free to take a look for yourself and see what you think of it um, and as always, you know, take a look at some of my other work. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, hopefully I can refine some of this stuff, make it even better. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good one.